Hello, I'm Michael Bogic, Senior Editor and Photo Editor here at Astronomy Magazine. Welcome to my little corner of the universe. In this video, I want to talk to you about power. Not the power of the sun or the power of an exploding supernova, but the power you'll need when you go observing and take your telescope into the field. Now one of the options you have is to use your car battery to power your telescope. But if you forget to turn the car on several times during the night, in the morning your car may not start, you may be stranded. A potentially better option is to take a small self-contained power supply with you. And I happen to have an example right here. This is Celestron's power tank. Celestron makes two versions of the power tank, this one and the power tank 17. The differences are that this has seven amp hours of power and, as the name indicates, the power tank 17 has 17 amp hours of power. Let's talk a little bit about the features of this unit. It has a couple lights in front. One is a standard low power flashlight that also has a flashing feature. Now, you may think, well, a white light isn't the greatest for observing, so Celestron has included a red filter that you can slip over this light, and now your light is observer approved and can even flash. The second light I like to refer to as your emergency light. If you, say, drop a $500 eyepiece and you don't want to kick it as you're looking for it, you can turn this one on. Now, I don't want to point it directly at the camera because it is ridiculously bright, especially at night. It has uh, LEDs. It's quite efficient, lasts for quite a long time. Emergency light. Be sure to warn other observers and especially imagers if you're going to turn this bad boy on. Okay, the side of the panel has several plug-ins for various devices. There are two USB ports here, both with 5 volts of power, where you can power computer accessories, uh, telephone, various other things. Also, we have two automobile cigarette lighter adapters, is what uh, observers like to call them. 12 volts of power. A lot of astronomical accessories have ends that plug into these. For example, a uh, low voltage hair dryer that helps you remove dew from the front of your lenses. So these are very, very useful. And also, on the side, if you need to direct wire something, you have positive and negative terminals here. The power tank charges quite easily. In fact, it comes with a standard AC adapter that you can plug in. But let's say you're already on your way to your observing site and you think, oh no, I didn't top off the power in here. Well, Celestron also has provided a way that you can plug into your car and then plug the other end into the front of the power tank. Really a great accessory if you're going to be out in the field observing, especially if you're far enough away from civilization. I'm Michael Bakic. Thanks for visiting my little corner of the universe.